I said, oh God, I'm going to get out of this season as fast as I can. It took me three years. But you know why? Because I was a hard head. I could have got out a lot sooner. I was also not just a hard head. I was scared. I was fearful. Because there was things, there were people I didn't want to confront. Because of pride. There was things I didn't want to confront. Because I didn't want to go through it. I, 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 I was praying Garden of Gethsemane prayers. Oh God, if there's any other way, let this cup pass for me. One day I was crying that out after about a year. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me and said, Thou art the man. Do it. I needed a shot of courage. I just saw, okay, Holy Ghost, you with me, I'm going to do it. I was afraid of offending people. I was afraid. See, the Holy Ghost can give you boldness. I, you don't have to be rude to people, but you can have the courage of the Holy Ghost that you can say what you need to say. And you can say it in a loving, caring way, and people will get the message. You hear me this morning? Because you're saying it out of your heart, not out of pride. You're saying it out of redemption, not out of prejudice. You want, you want the person redeemed. You don't want to give this, well, I told you so. You made your bed hard, now live in it. You messed up your life. You screwed things up. Fine mess you made. Now just go ahead. Throw them under the bus. Kick them to the curb. We got people all over the place coming to this house. They got tire tracks all over their back. They've been run over by life so many times. But the Lord will take you to brokenness. And along the way, he'll get you. This is the extremes of God I'm talking about now. The extremes of God. Brokenness. And you'll get out of there a lot faster if you'll let the Holy Ghost plow in your life the way he wants to. And you'll get below the surface clutter and dive into the deep things of God. You got it? You got this? This help anybody today? Call and I'll answer I call and you answer. Why? Because I expect you to. Hallelujah. See, I've never heard it preached on this class. The extremes of God. We're going to we're going to dive a little deeper. If you want to go a little deeper? Don't don't miss any more this week. Because we're going to get. And then on Wednesday nights, come on because we started a new series Wednesday night. And how God tests your faith. How God will test your faith. We just hit point one. Wednesday night at all, it was good. So this kind of, everything's kind of working together here. God's testing my faith, but he's also showing me his extremes. He said, we'll call my hands. How, how, many, how, many, how many this morning need, need to call on them? Did I, am I talking to the right bunch? You need to call on them. Hallelujah. 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 All right. I, it, just for the next few minutes. Next next few. Just how, how much time? Where, where am I? Have I, always 12 30? Okay, we gotta we got do this. Hallelujah. How can I do this? <laughs> okay, Holy Spirit, I'll do it that way. I'm gonna do it again. Right now, right now, you've heard the word of the Lord. Get ready to worship Him. We're gonna worship Him. We're gonna usher, you're gonna hush, and we're gonna pray right at the end. The last thing I'm gonna do is pray. The last thing I'm gonna do is pray. You're going to give. You're going to give. I'm going to tell you how wonderfully blessed this body is. You are wonderfully blessed. You are blessed beyond measure. Madeline came to me this week and she said, Pastor, God is working for me here. Said, I've been expecting it. We're in the summer months, and this is to your credit. This is to your faithfulness. I want to congratulate you, and I want to tell you how blessed you are. For the last three Sundays, 
your tithes and offerings have exceeded two thousand dollars. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That means we can touch more lives. That means we can touch more souls. That means we're not just having to scrape by the Lord saying, I'm giving you a surplus, you can help me. You can bless me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You keep on being faithful. The Lord is supplying the need. Hallelujah. And God's doing great things among us. In my devotion this week, Numbers chapter 21. The people's disobedience brought the chastisement of the Lord. And fiery serpents came and began to bite them. There were poisons. When it bit them, it was a burning sensation. It was a horrible death to die because it burned with such fire. And the Israelites, because of their disobedience, were dying in droves. And the people said to Moses, they began to murmur and complain, why did you bring us from Egypt into the desert to die and die such a horrible death? Moses called to the Lord and said, Lord, what shall I do? He said, you made a bronze pole and you put the serpent, you put the form of the serpent on that pole. The thing that was killing him, he puts on the pole. But he gives them a command. He said, everyone who looks at that serpent, 